welcome to Angie's Table. So today we are going to do our first official home decor video and it's gonna be on Grace's kitchen. Luckily we have footage that Kevin Grace's husband recorded before they moved in. So let's take a look at that and get into all the details to what has changed. So we're here. gonna do a backsplash. It's gonna be a herringbone style backsplash. Um, so if you guys could tell from the previous footage, the biggest difference in our kitchen is the color of our cabinets. The color that we chose is from Benjamin Moore. It's an advanced satin finish. It's called White Dove. You could probably find this color at a nearby store. So along with the white cabinets, we were thinking what would be the best paint color and we decided to go with a gray. So the gray that we have on right now, it's really peculiar. Cause in the daytime, it's really bright and it almost doesn't even look gray. But when night comes around, you really do see its colors, but it's not to the gray where it darkens the room. It still is like a light filtering gray almost. So the color we chose for the walls, we chose a repose gray. We got our paint at Sharon Williams, the cashmere collection. And the reason why we chose this color was because we wanted to give our kitchen more of a three dimensional look. Instead of having white walls and white cabinets, making it look all flat, we decided to choose something that would bring a little bit more color and light to the kitchen. People may think that designer paint is very expensive and it really can be, but we were able to find our paint for as low as what you would pay at Home Depot or Lowe's. Sharon Williams always has deals of some sort, so make sure you're on the lookout for these deals. The moment we realized that designer paint is so worthwhile is when my mom didn't close the container of the kimchi tight enough and Grace went to go put it back into the fridge and dropped it and it got everywhere. It got all over the rug, it got over the walls, the cabinets, the countertops, literally everywhere. And we were freaking out, but with one wipe, everything came off. And that's when we realized that designer paint really does make a difference. One of the things that I thought of when I was designing my kitchen was deciding which hardware that I wanted to add. So I decided on gold hardware and gold accents. I purchased some gold drawer pulls right here. Um, I also did a gold faucet for our kitchen sink and some gold pendant lights. All of the hardware I purchased for the kitchen are actually from Amazon. So if you guys like any of these, we will go ahead and link it down below in the description box. <laughs> Um, the reason why I decided to purchase these items from Amazon was because I did some research and hardware is actually very expensive, but I thought that down the line I may want to change up the hardware in my kitchen. So I decided to go ahead and purchase more affordable pieces that are versatile. <laughs> So the thing I love most about Grace's kitchen is this massive island countertop space that's literally the center point of the entire main floor. And normally we used to have recess lighting above the island, but we replaced that with these beautiful pendant lighting. And we did this because we, it was a really good decorative piece, number one. But number two, it really brings the light down onto the workspace when you're cooking, you're cutting, you're plating. It just really brings the center of attention to the island. So when we were in college, we would look at each other's Pinterest boards and for the kitchen parts, we would see that we both had something in common and that was having a huge countertop space or island that was marble. But soon we came to realize all the cons that comes with that. The biggest negative factor to a marble countertop space is that it's really porous. So when cooking in the kitchen and working with a lot of spices or ingredients that can stain the countertop space, we realized that it wasn't functional or practical. But actually, Grace's backsplash is marble and you guys probably saw that when we talked a little bit about this area that we have here in between our cooking videos and we'll have Grace explain more of that. Yeah, so we chose our... <laughs> <laughs> 
We chose our backsplash to be a herringbone pattern Italian white Carrera marble. The reason why I chose to go with a marble backsplash was because our kitchen sink is on our island. So it's not likely that food or water will splash onto the wall. And our stove actually has a back to it. So we decided it's less likely that our backsplash will be stained. So to conclude, the last thing I did to my kitchen was to add a very neutral runner rug in between my kitchen island and the backspace of our kitchen. The reason why we did this is because there's a lot of space because the kitchen island is so long. So to complement our dark hardwood flooring, I decided to add a very neutral ivory runner rug in order to lengthen our kitchen and make it appear even larger. The reason why I went with a very neutral ivory rug was because the flooring that we have in our home is quite dark. Um, so to complement it and make it look even airier and brighter, we decided to go with a more brighter color. And that concludes our video. We are not interior designers or any of that sort. This is just something that we both love to do. We hope you guys got something out of it or at least enjoyed watching it. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment below for any questions and leave any feedback. If you guys have any questions on anything, we'll try to answer it to the best of our ability. And stay tuned because we do have a pantry organization video that's coming out real soon. So we'll see you then.